fall was late this year and therefore there are still a lot of leaves because the leaves never fell off the trees so the snow came before before the fall did so now all the leaves are dropping with the snow hi everyone happy third advent happy 17th of december um yeah and welcome back today i wanted to show you some some of my advent yarn or actually today's advent yarn and to talk to you a little bit when there's actual daylight <laughs> so um it's one o'clock um in the afternoon and i need to go and grab some something from from the supermarket but before i go there i uh, wanted to come here and chat a little bit the sickness situation is getting better in my household no uh, temperature today so we did go a little bit outdoors or just um just to our own yard because we wanted to um, get some fresh air and we just popped popped out for like 20 20 to 30 minutes uh, so that the kids get some fresh air and um, I actually did already film a little clip and uh, you've seen it so we did uh, end up trying these <laughs> snowball piles <laughs> where you can put your candle in um, but even though it is one degrees celsius today so technically the snow should be moldable but because it was raining last night there's like this crisp coat on the snow and everything under the co under the um, coating um, is pretty much like this dusty snow so we did end up making a little thing but I don't know how well it will hold up and if it will hold uh, until it gets dark and we get to put a candle in but um, let's go into today's advent calendars so I got from my Camijo advent calendar I got this beautiful orange yellow green yarn it's lovely right up my alley and um, then because it's the third advent I did open you already saw that my uh, Knit by Cindy Aikman advent calendar and today we got um, there was 2.5 millimeter needles there's a glare she has her, her own line of needles and these were 120 centimeters for magic loop uh, for magic looping there was this little decoration instructions in it so you could make this one and there was some some stitch cables or stitch cords there were there was um, this uh, what is it called like a it's not a progress keeper but What's the name for this? Row counter. And was there something else? Yes, there was. Uh, where is it? Here. So there's this little storage thingy where you can put your needles. So very beautiful, beautiful little wooden, wooden thing where you can put your needles. And there was one needle in it already. And yeah, those were the things that I got today from my advents and one other advent thing is my advent socks which you already saw last night but let's have a look at them again i don't actually have too many colors left in my jar now it's all tangled because i have placed everything oh my goodness what's happening sorry sorry for the tango well there's now some green yarn hanging in there but i can't i can't help it 
um, it takes a whole day <laughs> if I now start detangling it. So there's today's stripe ended up being this orange. And yeah, they are getting happier <laughs> by the by the day. So I think I wasn't too sure about this part of the sock, which was in my eyes a bit dull, but I think it's going towards the happy again. So they will be very cheerful, cheerful socks. And for tomorrow, I, uh, I chose uh, blue, two different blues and the burgundy for, for the options because I'm actually, I did go through my jar and I don't have a lot of extra bits that I can use because I wanted to use similar bases. I have this woolier sock yarn, which I don't have a lot of in this, in these socks. And I think they wear, be wear better if, if the, the base is similar. So that's why I don't have so many of those. So many of those um, options anymore, but we have enough and I will get a fabulous, fabulous stripey pair by the end of it. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, today we are going to bake some Christmas cookies, cookies with my, my uh, family and I need to go and buy the sugar piping thingy because I'm not going to do that myself. Uh, it's easier just to let the kids uh, squeeze from a ready-made tube. So I will go and get that. And me and my husband were think thinking that we might surprise the kids tomorrow with a gingerbread house. So after they go to bed, I think we have some um, adult baking time and we will we will make a gingerbread house if if our man marriage will <laughs> handle that. We've done a couple of those in the past years, but uh, since the boys have been so little, we haven't we haven't made a house. But this year is finally a year we are going to do that again, and we'll see how that goes. But that's that's the plan for this uh, this evening, and. And one more thing that I want to show you, I've been mentioning about this or of this project a few times, but I haven't actually started it. I have grand plans <laughs> to have a new sweater for Christmas Eve and it is still missing sleeves. So this is my Swike sweater. And I have been working on this since September 2022. Uh, I mentioned that I have been working this since September, but I never said which year. So it was last year. And um, I finished the hem maybe two months ago or something like that. And now I thought that now is the time. Last night I was watching another Christmas movie and I started working on these sleeves and here is where I was last night, here. So I made, an I don't know, five centimeters of sleeves and I'm making them both uh, at the same time so that I'll get the same, same sleeves and I don't... Um, I don't finish one sleeve and then will be one sleeve off. So I will make them uh, two at a time so that I can actually probably finish that sweater. I don't think I'm going to follow the instructions for the pattern. Um, I'm I'm thinking of going like a for a, like a straight sort of straight sleeve. I'm doing maybe a few decreases and then before the cuff I will do more rapid decreases and then um, the pattern calls for a very long cuff but I think I'm just gonna do like a regular six centimeters or so. So that's the plan for next week. Um, it is now in the 
perfect stock in its stage and I have my last last gift pair uh, I did show them in the last episode and I managed to finish one sock last night maybe I should put it in the blocker did I bring it I thought I had it I thought that I had it maybe I didn't bring it never mind um, yeah so I talked about this yesterday floofy socks with two different yarns held together a very basic basic recipe and I did cast on the cuff but I didn't feel like working on ribbing so that's what I did so this is the last gift gift pair and I think it's a perfect mindless knit if I need something something easy to grab with me or uh, something for on the go knitting um, but yeah those were the projects that I wanted to show you today and I have actually a day off tomorrow and so I thought or I actually already asked Cindy which is the woman behind my advent calendar she is a local maker and we we had a coffee a few weeks ago and she asked if I would like to see her studio she has just moved from her home office to a new studio and I messaged her and I asked if I could come by tomorrow so I will definitely take you with me when I go see Cindy's studio so that's very exciting and I also have a massage appointment for tomorrow which is great because my neck and my shoulders feel very tense after after bad sleeping and and also you know excessive knitting um, so I'm, I'm very happy and I'm looking forward to do that as well this was today's chatty episode I will be filming a little clips while we bake the cookies and while me and my husband are building building a house together so those things you will see and I will do another chatty segment uh, tomorrow so I'm assuming this will be a little bit longer episode than my last few ones but yeah let's go and see how our gingerbread making went
Hey there, buddy. It's just me again. Came into my mind last night, so I'm just, I'm just checking in. It's been far too long now since I last saw you, my friend. So happy Christmas from me. me again I wonder what you're doing now and if you're listening I just wish there was some way things could have been different but happy Christmas from me Hi, to you happy 18th of December um, this is my segment for today um, you have just seen me I don't know if you can hear <laughs> there's some pasta boiling there um, hopefully it's not disturbing because that's reality uh, you've just seen me visit Cindy uh, meat by Cindy Eggman um, knitting accessory maker here uh, from Kokkola where I live and that's really loud. Maybe I'll just turn it down a bit. <laughs> okay, I hope that's I hope that's fine. Um, if not, I will not have this segment here, and you won't you won't hear it. Uh, anyway, so I just visited this morning my friend Cindy, and she she makes the most beautiful knitting accessories. I have her advent calendar. And um, today I'm uh, on a day off because on Friday I have a very very long 10-hour work day because we have uh, we have to do our inventory. So yay <laughs> before my Christmas holiday, that's that's what's happening. So uh, I have an extra day off today. Uh, quickly, I wanted to show you. You've seen some clips uh, <laughs> which my dear son took yesterday of me knitting on the bind off for this sweater which is now completed so um this is my stepdaughter's sweater which ended up being a fade uh next i need to block it uh but it, it is now off the needles i had to omit a few rounds of the ribbing so they are not exactly the same uh, width as the sleeves because I was running out of of the orange color and I thought that rather than just changing for a few rounds it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit shorter so yay finally finished this one I have one more gift knit uh, yet to complete and this will now get a good soak and a bath and yeah that's one job done um, it's one o'clock I'm preparing myself some lunch and today uh, I still think that I will do some sewing if I have time but I have a massage appointment in two hours so there is a very big chance that I will just eat and sit and knit because, yeah, the weekend was, or last week was quite um, tiring. And as you may have seen, me and my husband, we didn't end up building the gingerbread house because these parents were just too tired. So. <laughs> I just did some gift wrapping instead and we will do the gingerbread house another evening because yeah it's it's been it's been a lot 
with all the sickness and everything. Um, I did end up also knitting on those fluffy socks yesterday. And I haven't done a lot, but I've done some for, for the leg. And now you can see it in daylight. And these fluffy socks are, I'm actually pretty good with my Ravelry project pages, especially with these simple socks, because I need a lot of socks for gifts. And to help myself, I always, I always create a project page and I always put uh, the important details because that's more for me and for my future gift knitting rather than for you. But if you are using Ravelry and that is something that is accessible to you, you can always have a look. I will link the project page down uh, in this description. So if you are interested how I'm doing it, um, I'm using uh, 48 stitches with a 3.5 millimeter needles and 50 round cuff and 30 rounds, 30 rounds for the leg. And then I did a garter heel flap and yeah that's my last last of all my gift knits and then i think what i will do is i will focus on the sweater this white sweater for myself and hopefully i will manage i will manage to finish that before christmas eve so that i can wear it um for our christmas celebration so that's that's something that one can hope but I think I've been doing pretty well and I actually already did the stripe for today's advent as well, but I don't have, just don't have the socks here. I will put the picture, picture here for you to see. And um, yeah, today um, taking care of myself, massage, and then, um, and then maybe some sewing later on. But I have a feeling that today I won't be filming too much uh, anymore. So I will put all of this together and upload it for you to watch. Thank you for following along. And I have to say, I have to thank you again uh, once more uh, for the comments. It's been so lovely to interact with you and um, welcome all new viewers as well, because there has been quite a growth uh, during this December. So I I love to see uh, new faces around here. So as well as, as also the familiar ones, uh, it always warms my heart uh, to change some short messages with you guys. So it's been so much fun. And I didn't, I didn't expect uh, to enjoy this Vlogmas so much, uh, but I have. And um, yeah, few more episodes to go. Uh, things will turn a little bit more Christmassy, I believe. But I do have some uh, long days uh, to work yet. So yeah, we will try to balance all of this and all, all the Christmas activities. But it's been so much fun and I've enjoyed it a ton. If you are wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Hilia tee, which is my ultimate. Um, I've worn this to my podcasts a million times because this is one of my favorite sweaters. It's a fingering weight sweater and the pattern is unfortunately only in Finnish, but um, you can find fingering weight raglan sweaters like this. So yeah, I adore this color and it makes me happy. So. That's what I usually gravitate towards when I'm not working and wearing black. Enough ramble. Um, I will see you in my next episode. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. I wonder what you're doing now. And if you're listening, I just wish there was some way. Things could have been different But happy Christmas From me to you
just too much to handle It's like I'm losing control I'm struggling in the crossroads Of being too warm or too cold Hey there buddy It's just me again You walked out of my life that time And I guess I'm still wondering Do you still think of me sometimes? Or have you truly moved on? Anyway, happy Christmas From me to you oh, Happy Christmas From me